All cities have to collect property tax and make property assessments, which can often be complicated. Um, the city of New York also had a rather complicated method for assessing property. So tell us more about that and what you've done uh, to build a new system to help make it easier for the citizens. We're going to be doing the same thing for the property taxes. Our, we're expecting to go live with our new property tax system in the summer of 2017. This has been going on for a couple of years, massive project. We're, we're focusing our attention on how we're going to test the system, given how important it is to New York City, and how do we make it transparent to the citizens of New York who, who receive these statements of account and pay their taxes on a regular basis. So lots of, lots of work going on there, lots of organizational change management work. How are we going to change how we do work, given the new capabilities that we have with these systems that did not exist in the past? How are we going to organize our teams to be able to process work? As a result of those systems, we're going to be implying, again, e-services will be a major piece where we're going to be able to put websites in place that will allow the citizens to be able to see their bills. We're going to increase that capability. But we're doing a lot of things internally. So workflow uh, is a relatively, not a new concept in the industry, but a new concept given our technology. Given that our te technology was 20 years old, it did not have the capability for us to be able to do workflow. With the new systems, we're going to be able to see uh, backlogs. We're going to be able to see queues. We're going to be able to know that we may have too many of one type of tax form coming in, sitting in a queue, and we need to add more people to that queue in order to be able to address that queue and eliminate the backlog. So one of the ways that we're going to be able to help the citizens is by implementing workflow with new technology, we'll be able to monitor and address queuing problems that we have in our own internal processes, something that in the past we just didn't have the ability to do. So there is a number of efforts. The systems are going to enable transparency. The systems are going to enable the property owners to log on and, and see information about their, their property that they may not have yet seen. We've actually implemented a system, um, we implemented a tax map system a few months ago where we're providing that transparency to the citizens in terms of what are the taxes relative to their property of their neighborhood, of their zip code, of the people who are closest to a specific subway station. We wanted to provide that transparency in everything we do. And we're also working with, um, across the agency, not necessarily an IT project, but we're looking and working with some consulting firms to, who are helping us look at the paper we produce, the electronic forms we send out, the emails we send out, to give us some advice and counsel as to how do we make these forms, these documents, as user-friendly as possible. Right? These forms have grown up over the last 20 years and there's been many layers of, of complexity has been added to them for good reason when they were added. But now we're taking a fresh look and saying, okay, how do we, the information is online. If you need the information, we're gonna be, you're gonna be able to have it and get it quickly. How do we make the form be as friendly as possible and how do we simplify that? And while the form may have actually less, in, less information, how do we create transparency so that when you look at the form, you actually understand what it's saying, and you take the initiative to go deeper and look online for more information about your property? Because today, you may look at the form and this is so complex, I really don't want to go any further. So we're thinking through that, the art of how to make something that we provide the citizen as, as useful to them as possible.